in the stuff that he came this week because it, this is what you really play for. Conference, see you, conference play starts Saturday. You, you feel an extra energy this week with you guys? Uh, yeah, it's always an extra energy around here, especially after this win we had got this week. And um, the coaches said they wasn't changing no practice schedule up and everything was going to pretty much remain the same. And it's just a lot of positive energy going on right now just from the victory we had last week. But outside of the victory with the conference starting and you guys know this is really what you play for, you want to win a conference championship, does that kind of up the ante now that guys are more excited? Not any more excited, but just energized about getting out there with SMU Saturday? Oh, yeah, it's always good to open up conference just because you, you'll see where you're at in conference, and it's always just to get that first victory off in conference. Can you talk a little bit about Monte Dalton? Did you tell him into that, that uh, role he was the other night, how he came out of it? Well, last week in practice, they pretty much told him he was going to play, but he didn't really think that not that early. So, And when he first got in, he was just kind of nervous and stuff, and I just told him just to mm -hmm. calm down and just – be yourself and just do what you've been doing there all week in practice. SMU is known for its offense and the way it puts points up on the board. What do you guys have to do to kind of make sure that you play your game? And by that, I mean what Coach Porter said yesterday, sustain drives, finish drives, touchdowns instead of field goals to try to limit the opportunities that SMU has to put its offense on the field. Oh, yeah. We just, as an offense, we just can't shoot ourselves in the foot and just sustain drives and just keep our defense off the field as long as much as possible. And as a, as of a de as a defense, I just don't I don't know their plan right, well, as right, right now. In terms of you guys, you know, trying to limit the opportunities that SMU has to get on the field, and by doing that, meaning going out long drives and ending them in touchdowns, and, and what Coach Porter said was finishing drives this weekend. Yeah, this week this emphasis in practice is about finishing your blocks, no matter what, after the whistle, and just. Pretty much just trying, that's going to help us sustain drives more and just the uh, offense is pretty much tuned in and to everything that we're trying to do. Lots of the talk is on SMU's offense. What have you seen out of their defense on film and what do you expect they bring? Well, the defense, they blitz a lot. Like they blitz 70% of the time, the, the, the film that I have seen. So we got a, new, a couple new things that we're doing as an offensive line to try to slow that down and protect our quarterback more. What specifically? Uh, we we just gonna probably be sliding and then just different kind of t different techniques that we use, usually don't use, but we're gonna be practicing through them all week, so we should be ready to go by game time. How big how big a step did you guys take as an offense last week? You, you got a couple of big plays that I know energize an offense, but you taken the steps that you want to to, to now to where you're where you want to be opening conference play. Well, I don't think we really where we want to be, but it, it was a lot of positive coming out of that game. It's just it shows that we can be explosive and have explosive plays is when everybody doing what they're supposed to be doing just on any given right play a explosive play can't happen how much how much running were you doing behind Billy when he was going 93 yards were you trying to catch him oh I actually ran the whole field I wasn't trying to catch him but I actually ran the whole field oh he was already gone by the time I got off my block so just to celebrate with him or what? Yeah, just to celebrate with him. And, and I'm actually on extra point of field goal, so I had to <laughs> – I would have ran off the field, but I had to run down there. So. How fun is that as an offensive lineman when you see a play like that happen? And, you know, it's not 40 or 50. I mean, that was a 93-yard touchdown. Yeah, it was kind of cool because, like, some of the big plays that happen, I usually can't see them because I'm usually on the blocks. But that one was all the way down the field, so I had a, had a little chance to see him run. Everybody tried to catch him, and he cut across the field and ended up scoring. Taylor commended the O line after the game, you know, thanking you guys for not having his butt on the ground pretty much. And uh, what, what did you guys take out of that performance? Uh, it's just it just showed that we was working hard in practice. Just because the last week I think we gave up like five sacks, and I'm saying just our offensive line coach and just us as an offense, we just pretty much said that can't happen again. And we have a freshman quarterback, so we pretty much got to protect them as much as possible.